In order to find the electron configuration for calcium, we first need to know the number of electrons in the calcium atom. We'll find that on the periodic table, and we'll look at the atomic number. That's the number of protons, but it also is the number of electrons. Once we know the number of electrons, we can use that information to write the electron configuration for calcium. We'll use the table on the right to help us write the notation. We'll go down the first row where we have 1s. S orbitals can hold up to two electrons, so we'll put both of those electrons in the 1s orbital. We'll go down the next row where we have 2s, and we'll put two electrons there. In the third row, it starts with 2p, and p orbitals can hold up to six electrons. We'll put all six electrons in the 2p orbital. That gives us 10 electrons. We need 20 for calcium, so we're halfway there. Also in the third row, we have the 3s. We'll put two electrons there, and then we'll go to the fourth row, which starts with 3p. We'll put all six electrons that go in the p orbital there to give us a total of 18. We only need two more to have 20. In that same fourth row, after the 3p is the 4s term. We'll just put the remaining two electrons in the 4s. If you add this up, you get 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2, which gives you 20, the number of electrons in the calcium atom. So that's the electron configuration for calcium. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.